All right, guys, so let's continue with this cross gripping series and now we'll look at how we can use it to gain back exposure, okay? So one thing that might happen is as I go through and I do a good job, however I did it, of putting my training partner's uh, arm on the floor, I would love to go in and start making this transition so that I can get my cross grip back in place and get to the underhook. Very often from here, as I go and I pin my training partner's hand to the floor, he's gonna be looking to bring the arm back, either by taking his hand to my hand or taking his hand to his own hand and pulling it back. So right when I pin it and he goes through and tries to grab either my hand and peel it off or his hand and pull the arm back in, we're gonna go in and we're gonna feed to his wrist. So rather than going in and trying to grab this, we're gonna grab his wrist. Now from here, it's an easy thing for us to pull the hand off, pull his hand behind his own head, and then right from here, we're in good position to start exposing his back. His elbow, okay, is across my center line, so it makes it easy for me to get my chest in behind. I keep control of this hand long enough that I can bring my heel up to my partner's armpit, and right from here, it's so hard because of this cross, uh, this uh, wrist grip, for him to pull his elbow back across the center line, okay? My, my grip makes it impossible. We always grip right there at the, uh, at the wrist with my middle finger and thumb. I pull the arm back, he goes to bring this elbow back, can't do it. Now we feed our hand in and we lock up this figure four back seat belt, okay? So we have a seat belt in, but we have the figure four grip. Right when I get here, I scoop up to my partner's uh, head so that my knee is right underneath the head, my elbow is on top of my own thigh. And then from here, I tuck my foot in and I sit. When I go in and I sit, similar to how we saw with the sit through before, okay, with this chair sit uh, earlier, we take the head up and off the floor. What I don't want to do is allow him to quickly whip up and free his elbow. So the moment that I sit through in this position, we catch, we lift his back up and off the floor so that we maintain good connection and my elbow can come in front of the shoulder. Okay, so we rotate. Now when he goes to whip up, it's a hard thing with that elbow in position and we can start going in, locking up and going into all of our chest to back behind the elbow series that we saw earlier in the instructional series. So just a way that we can go in as we go in and uh, pin his hand to the floor. When I go to make that transition, he'll often try to bring the arm back and that feeds right into that arm wrap grip. And we can use that to ex expose.